do it on a dime here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys my recipe binder, how I meal plan, and how I save money and I don't waste food. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is my recipe binder. Now I got this idea from Alejandra.tv and I'm gonna put a link to all her stuff in the description. I know I love watching videos of how people take professional ideas and implement it to work for them, so this is what I do. We do not use any cookbooks. I have purged most of our cookbooks because all the stuff I use is in here. Every single thing in this binder is either something that takes 15 minutes to cook, it's so easy, or it's passed down in our family. And each of these little tabs that are on the side are just attached to page protectors. So they're really inexpensive and page protectors are really inexpensive as well. The second type of page protector I have in here are these index card holders. These are fantastic because you can slip in most recipe sizes, even if you have slightly smaller ones, and it will protect all of your recipes. Because all of my recipes are organized like this, I know the go-to family favorites and I can really easily plan and cook a meal for that week. If I have a new recipe, I'll put it in the front of the binder and I just keep like extra pages in the back. And if I don't like the recipe, then we won't use it and it goes out. My bulk cooking section is anytime I'm making a bunch of meals to put in the freezer for like several months. And I will link all of those videos down below if you're interested in my bulk cooking methods, how you can like make burritos enough to feed you for like four months. This is an investment of time to create, but once you do, it really saves you so much time just to have this single binder. Now the next thing is not wasting food. A goal that we have for us is every two months, we do a week where we do not grocery shop. We go through and we create a meal based on things that are already in the fridge. We don't have to go buy anything extra. One thing that works really well are soups and stews, and I love using my crock pot to make soups. We made a stew using chicken and pinto beans and celery and some old noodles that we had sitting around and carrots and an onion, just kind of throwing those things all together in a crock pot. If you cook it on low for like seven to eight hours, you can get a really good meal. And those are the things that tend to be kind of like leftover in the fridge anyway, so you really don't have to do a lot of prep. Supercook.com and MyFridgeFood.com are awesome websites. I'm not affiliated, but I'll link them below. You just type in ingredients you have and it gives you an instant recipe idea. These are fantastic. If you head on over to my blog, you can download for free my freezer guide. These are all the foods that you can freeze, how to freeze them, how long to freeze them for, so that way you stop food waste. Again, I'll put the link in the description for you guys. And of course, as always, it's free. So that's how we organize things, save money, and meal plan. I would love to hear from you guys. Leave your tips in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Carson, what do you think of freezer cleanout week? Do you like it? You don't like it? Mm. What's your favorite food? Minty cheese.